If you're a grown man, use a shoehorn. Show the back of your shoes some respect. Oh man. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back. No, seriously, literally, I'm back. Just got home from a trip, man. It was a three day trip. Okay, two and a half day trip. And I have to share with you my new bag. Y'all know I'm a bag whore and I'm all about them bags. Let me tell you about my tragedy. So a few months ago, I decided to just kind of purge and go through all my bags and throw some away. Unbeknownst to me, I threw away one of the bags that I would typically use on a weekend or you know maybe a two, day, two or three day trip. So me and the wife, we go out, we scour the earth and we end up at Target. Now I know some of y'all call that place Target. I like to call it the Red Circle Boutique because I'm bougie like that. Anyways, let's get into this bag, man. This is the Swiss Gear everyday bag man it's like this this new collection they have and this is the this is the duffel from the collection i saw this bag and immediately fell in love with it seriously i turned the corner saw the bag and said whoa i need this bag because i immediately knew what it was and i'm gonna tell you in just a minute but let's talk about some stuff first let's take a look on the outside show you what's up out here so this material i don't know if you can hear that but it's kind of a weather resistant material so it can take some raindrops you know if it starts raining on your stuff it's not gonna get soaked immediately seems like it would repel some water you got some uh, tpu right here some leatherish material um, on the handles and it's got your typical nylon straps right here and i like the way this clasp is right here it doesn't overlap the handles so they're not uncomfortable in your hand they just sit side by side and it sits right there where you snap it it's a snap so you just unsnap it like that but on the front you got this big old pocket a little bit of swift gear branding right here we're gonna get into this pocket in a moment be patient i know you want to see my stuff but let's turn this bag over to this way so first off, you got a zippered pocket right here with some more Swiss gear branding, but that's it, no more branding. I like that about this bag. It's just a nice casual, inconspicuous looking bag, but it's a zippered pocket, goes all the way down. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there. I don't think I have anything in it right now. I'll have to double check. Seriously, this bag is full of my weekend stuff. So y'all get to see kind of like everything, like in my personal life. We're family now, so you can see my skivvies, okay? Let's get into these hooks. All right, the hooks are made out of metal. So is the D-ring, so you're not gonna have any problems with anything breaking or snapping over time. Nice solid feel to it, nice springy action to it right there. Just clip it on like that. So let's turn the bag around to the back side. Now immediately you see where you can put your, your handle, like if you had a carry-on or, or a roller luggage, you could stick your, uh, undo that Velcro right there, you could stick your handle up through the side or through the back of the bag right there. And then we have this big old zippered pocket right here. I totally forgot this pocket was here. I didn't even use it for anything, but it goes all the way down the bottom of the bag. It's lined with this nice uh, pinstripe material right there. It's real silky and smooth on the inside. But do you see the zippers? Do you, you see that? Smoothness, just buttery smooth, man. You got these TPU leatherish uh, pull tabs right here. That I actually kind of like that they're this TPU material because they pull and they stretch and it's not gonna be uh, snapping apart over time. But the zippers are so smooth. For a bag of this price to get zippers this smooth, that's nice, that's a nice touch. All right, let's flip the bag around one more time. Then we're gonna go to the front and then open it up. You got a non-zippered pocket right here. So I don't know, maybe you're at the airport and you need to put some documents in there on the fly. You know, you can just reach your hand in there. It goes all the way to the bottom. There's no lining in it. Oh, actually, you do have that, uh, that silky pinstripe lining in there and it goes all the way to the bottom. Now, bringing this bag back to the front, full circle, 360 degrees. Let's open it up. I know you wanna see my stuff and you've been patient, so let's take a look at how Just Doing Reviews packs for a three-day weekend. Here we go. So let's open this thing up. Oh, you, you, you see that? You see that? <laughs> so you open it up. Once again, the bag is lined with that pinstripe material right there. Let's see what I got in here. I'm just gonna open this. I can't even see what's in the bag. You, you learn it as I learn. Got my wires right here. This is for my um, Galaxy Gear charger. Got my phone plug right there. Got some extra watch bands for my Gear S3. Um, I'll wear different outfits, so I kind of need a band for every outfit. I mean, go back, see some of my videos, and you know how I get down with those watch bands. Let me see, what is this? More wires, those USB charging cables and you got your docking station for your gear s3 another dock all right put that to the side what do we what else do we have in here okay i know what this is all right this is camera battery right here I needed that extra battery now gentlemen if you have any respect for your shoes dress shoes tennis shoes all shoes included if you have any respect for them get yourself a shoehorn man it's mandatory if you're a grown man use a shoehorn show the back of your shoes some respect Put that off to the side right there. Now let's get into the main compartment. 
Woo, let's open this up nice and smooth. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, I'm kind of shooting a video though. Told y'all, we just got back. <laughs> the wife is doing laundry, showing no respect to my video. But look, the water's running, I need to hurry. So I gotta pull out my, I gotta pull out my clothes, man, cause I might not get my laundry done. All right, let me see here. So I got, I literally have three days worth of clothes in here, man. Let me open this up just a little bit so you can see. Literally three days worth of clothes. I got jeans, I got slacks, I got some workout clothes. Let me just hand this off. Let me hand it off real quick so y'all don't see my skivvies. Let me hand this off. Thanks, love. I'm so blessed that she even wants to do my laundry, but seriously, right right now I'm in the middle of the video. <laughs> anyway, let's get this let's get this going, man. Let's put this right here. Talk about that later. All right, so I got my A6000 right here with 35 millimeter attached. Let me see. I got the kit lens for the A6000. Let me see what else I want to pull out next. All right, now everybody knows I love this speaker. This is the UE Wonder Boom, man. Oh, I take this thing everywhere I go, whether it's the beach or just outside on my uh, back porch chilling, man. Love this thing, get you one. Put that over there. Now this is my Swiss Kid toiletry kit. Now look, told you I like that Red Circle Boutique, man. Swiss Kid makes good stuff, man. I love this toiletry kit. Actually, I like it because it's actually kind of, you know, relatively flat. It's not one of those big, bulky ones. So it just kind of lays flat in your suitcase. That's why I like this one so much. All right, so I told you, I packed for three days and I, like my watches and my watch bands, I gotta have a different set of shoes for each outfit. So I got my workout shoes or my gym shoes right here for what I was wearing on the, you know, as we were driving, put those off to the side. Then I got my low profile pretty boy shoes right here. Got those. Put those off to the side. You know what, this bag does not smell like three days worth of fun. Then right here, I got my lady killers and the belt to match. You gotta have your lady killers and the belt to match, man. Let me put those on there. Let me show you some respect though. Let me put those, let me put these down here. I don't wanna just, I don't wanna just be disrespectful to my shoes. All right, now let's put this toiletry kit off to the side because I'm unpacking as we go. I'm killing two birds with one stone here. Unpacking and shooting a review. Now, there are some pockets on the inside of here, on the opposite side of these outside pockets. There's two uh, elastic pockets right here with the same lining. But now we get into this awesome part of this bag, man. I know it's hard to see me right now, but bear with me. Because now, you get to just tear this bag apart, man. Just zip it all down, and then it becomes a garment bag. Man, this is so nice. Got the same stuff on the inside, but now you got a place to put your sport coat. Let me just take that out of there. So I wore my linen sport coat over the weekend, tuck that in there, let me just lay that down. That's what's up with this bag. It's a, man, it's a garment bag trapped inside of a duffel. It's a two-in-one. Love the quality of the bag, man. Swiss Gear did a great job. You do get some plastic in here because for the price, how could you not expect plastic? This is plastic right here. Well, the D-ring is actually metal, but the uh, the hook right here, you can actually hook that up into a closet if you wanna hang the bag. Not sure why you would actually hang the bag. Most people would just, or at least I would just, you know, hang up my uh, my suit. Or if you're a lady, you know, you hang up your dress or whatever. Now I'm 5'10", and my chest size is a 46, so it fits, I guess, the average size sport coat without having to wrinkle it up or fold it. Now, if you're in the big and tall section, you might have to fold it up a little bit on the sides, and kind of, you know, maybe just fold it, maybe a little quarter of a fold uh, on the bottom just to get it all in there as far as the length. But uh, for the most part, it fit my sport coat in there. I just folded the sleeves over the top, but that was my favorite feature of the bag. I got the uh, garment bag and I got a duffel bag to keep all that stuff in, man, over a two to three day trip. Now you could probably go four days with this thing if you pack right. I was in the military, so I know how to pack tight. But um, as far as putting this bag back together, cause right now it is just totally undone, right? Let me say, let me show you the inside and then I will turn it around to the back side. So it's just totally undone, man. Flaps and everything all over the place. And it looks like it'd be a pain in the butt to put back together, but honestly, it's not because the zippers are so smooth. So let's just go ahead and do it together. So you just kind of angle that up like that. You just pull on that zipper, take this one, pull on this zipper, and you are all zipped up. The bag is whole again. Now I will say, let me zip it up. Now I will say up here on the side, now these zippers right here, you would expect them to come down during travel or transit. And they might if you handle the bag roughly. I'm not sure, it didn't happen to me. 
But just in case, I think what I'm gonna do and what you should probably do is come up with either, maybe you can get a travel lock, something with that real thin locking mechanism and you can lock all three in that case. You can just boom, boom, boom right there. Or you can just find a hook or something or anything you wanna use to kind of tie these together to make sure they don't come unsecure as you're traveling. And the same thing on the opposite side. I think I'm gonna go ahead, maybe I'll just get one of those combination travel locks and put it on this side and maybe something else for this, I'll figure it out. But this was my first time with the bag and we were kind of in a pinch. But uh, as far as storage for the bag, that was actually kind of sweet too because all I did was unzip it all the way and fold it up. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, squishing up the bag or nothing like that. I just basically took this, folded it, and bam, the bag was flat and it stows away just like that. That is gangster, man, I love this bag. Anyways, this is a Swiss gear, everyday duffel bag. I say you get one, man, but I ain't claiming to be no expert in this stuff. I just like bags, man. And I just got back from my trip, so I need to go finish unpacking. But before I go, I'm gonna need y'all to tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one.